Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Aristotle's Contribution to the Atom. So, Aristotle actually did not contribute anything to any model of an atom. Aristotle lived thousands of years ago, and he was born in the year 384 BC and died in the year 322 BC. So he lived for 62 years. He was not an atomist, which was a position held by many philosophers at the time. An atomist was someone who believed that the fundamental makeup of reality and all the material in the universe was comprised of little indestructible bits, which one would equate to atoms in today's day and age, except we know now that atoms can certainly be destroyed and are made up of more fundamental pieces of matter. So Aristotle did not like this view at all. In fact, he maintained that everything, all materials in the universe, were made up of combinations of the four elements. And the four elements back then were known as fire, air, earth, and water. So we know now that these are not actually elements as we understand them, and that there are certainly more than four elements. There's in fact over a hundred elements, and we understand their chemical structure and trends through the periodic table of elements. So Aristotle didn't contribute much, although he did contribute in a sense that material, different materials were made up of different types of elements. So even though he had an incorrect notion of what an element was, he still had the same type of thought that can be applied to chemistry and material physics where if you take any substance, it's not necessarily made up of just one element, but it can be made up of multiple elements. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Aristotle's Contribution to the Atom.